be here. I'm so glad to be here and tell you my story. Uh, you notice my hat's missing? Oh, Chesley, they notice your hat is missing, and we know we like to see your hat, and we wish you had it on. No, oh, well, it was missing up my hair. I think you need to fix it. All right, we'll take care of that, but right now, let's get into our Bible story. Oh, then I'm going to sing. This gospel train is chugging up the train, chugging up. No, this is the, the theme song. Oh, oh, yes, Chesley, we know that's the theme song. This gospel train is chugging up the train, chugging up the train, gets chugging up the train. This gospel train is chugging up the train. Chugging to the glory land. That's what it's doing, Chesley. And who's in the glory land? Gonna see Jesus, yes I am, yes I am, yes I am. Gonna see Jesus, yes I am, yes I am, yes I am. And who can go to the glory land, the promised land? Who can go there to where Jesus lives, where we can live forever with him? Anyone that wants to serve him, yeah, get on board this gospel train. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, Chesley, we can. So let's be sure and do that. Love the Lord and serve him with all of our heart. And I think that's just something that you people will get to see Jesus. That's right, Chesley. And the knee, I'm just going to stay just right. You're going to stay because you're a piece of wood. But Chesley, we're thankful that we can be here today to tell Bible story. You know, it's one thing I can do with, with you pulling the strings and, and, and being the voice of the knee. That's right. But we can work together and we're going to get the job done. And our scripture today is from Luke chapter 18, and it's 18 through 23. Luke chapter 18, 18 through 23. And Chesley, this story is found in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. So it really made an impression. Healing us to the important. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to telling this story. And Chesley, yes, we want to tell this story because it really is has very Pardon, pardon me, important, and we want to have it. Tell this story for others. We can learn from this story. We can see him as Jesus loves us. Yes, we can see how what great love he has. But the title of our story is The Rich But Poor Young Ruler. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't seem to end up. Well, it will add up, Chesley, as we tell this story. What... <coughs> Pardon me. What happened here? Here was this man, this young man, come running to Jesus. In fact, the, different, the scriptures in different ones in Matthew and Mark and Luke, we learn different things about this man. And one of them, we learned he, he, he was rich and he was young and he was a ruler. That's right. He was rich, he was young, and he's a ruler. Oh, man, he is going to need. It looked like he had it made. But he came running to Jesus. As Jesus was fixing to leave, he came running to him and he said, Jesus, what could I do that I could inherit eternal life? Just what could I do? And he just wanted to do one just simple thing. He thought he could just do one thing. And Jesus looked at him and the scripture tells us he loved him. And he really cared what he said. He took him serious. Now, you know, Chesley, some of the people would come and try to trick Jesus. You know, they'd ask him trick questions and they wouldn't want to get serious. And he, you know, that Jesus was nice to him. Jesus was nice to them. But when they got hateful with him and all, and he saw what they were doing, he just told the truth to them. That's what he always told truth, and they didn't want to hear it. And sometimes he would really, he would get pretty stern with them, just telling them what truth was. And because the truth will set you free. The truth will set you free. The truth of Jesus Christ would set you free. But they wouldn't accept him as Jesus. But this man came to him. And I really believe he, maybe he believed he was really, that he was, he's son of God. He said, what must I do that I can inherit eternal life? He, he, he just one thing, and he thought then that would be part of his inheritance, just part of his inheritance. And so when Jesus said to him, well, he said, uh, you, he began to tell him the, the, the Ten Commandments. He began to say, you need to love your neighbors yourself, and you need to, and on and on and on. And he told him, and, and you know what he said, Just I think he was thinking, I did all that. That's what he said. Well, I, I I've, I've done all that. And but Jesus looked at him, and he knew the real reason that he was, he just wanted to be able to use his money, I think. And, and, and why do you think that? Because Jesus said, well, he said, sell all, sell everything that you have, and he said, and and, and give it to the poor. Oh. And, 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 and what did he say? Oh, and he was very sad, because the Bible says that, and the scripture tells us here that he was very sad, and he walked away. He just walked away. <laughs> you know what I think, Hampton? He was in love with his money. He was in love with his money. But you know what, Chester? No, I sure do know what's in it. When you die, you don't have it. That's right. When we die, we leave everything here. He was wanting eternal life. Now, was he... Uh, I think... Uh, I'm going to say this. Here's what I think. What do you think? What, you know, do you think he was thinking about going to heaven? Or do you think he just... No, I think he just thought he was going to live here all the time. Well, I don't know which way it was. But I know this, he was depending on his riches. And the Bible said that Jesus looked at him 
and he loved him. He saw that this man, and, and, you know, I know he had potential. He had potential, that's right. The Lord could have used him. Now, I wonder if this man, if he had said, okay, Lord, I will do that. And, you know what I think? Oh, what do you think? Now, I think the Lord has said, keep your name and use it to me. Well, he could have said that, but what this man, because he was had the ability to make money, I think God could have used him. He could have used him to have helped others. He could have, whatever the Lord had for him, he would have been blessed and happy and then had eternal life. He would have, yes, he would have been blessed, happy, and had eternal life. The Lord told us that he looked at this man and he was so concerned because he saw this man here, he was rich. He was, And, and you know, in the natural, he was rich, he was young, he was a ruler. I think he had it neat. That's what it looked like. Nothing was missing, but he realized something is missing. That's the eternal life. And Chesley, we need to think about what this man didn't think about, that if you don't love the Lord and you don't serve him, when you when you die, you're not going to have that eternal life. You'll be an eternal death. No, it was an awful thing. And why wouldn't he listen? Chesley, he was all he was so, the Bible showed, in fact, Jesus said, it's very hard for a rich man to go to heaven. No, why is that? Because he, he, he wants to take it with him. Well, Chesley, some of them are, are in love with their money, and really, you almost say that the, the, the money has them. Him, and, and they're so in love with it. And it well, is money dead? No, money is not bad. No, we are, we have to have that kind of exchange when we go and we're going to buy something. Well, we have to give them something in exchange. We give them money. And, and so it's a product and then we give them money. They have their product and then we give them our money for that. And so Chesley, that's what he, he was thinking about all this money he had and would he have to give up? And, and, did you know something? Jesus Knight has said, no, he... he he would let him keep it. Well, he might could have used it. Just said, you, I can, you, you just keep it and just keep yielded to me and loving me and serving me. But the Lord, he was looking. He said, you know what? As we were saying, Jesse, he said to him, he said to, uh, to all the people there, as this man left, and the Bible said Jesus was very sorrowful. It, he broke his heart to see this man walk away. <laughs> no, because he was leaving eternal life. He was leaving eternal life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And he said to him, it's very hard for a rich man to be saved. And they said, how can that? Well, Lord, what do you mean? <laughs> because they trust in their riches. They are trusting in those riches, and they don't realize <laughs> that you could go broke in a minute. That's right. You can go broke in a minute. I mean, things can happen. Then all of a sudden, uh, uh, something man, you can be stolen. That's right, Chesley. Thieves have broken in and stolen from people and left them with nothing. And he was telling them, these things here, they're here and they're gone. But he said, it is so hard for a rich man to put their trust in God. <laughs> that some of them do. Some of them do. That's right. There are those people that love the Lord. I've known people that had a lot of wealth, but they just loved the Lord with all of their heart, and they used it for the Lord. But Chesley, this is a very important scripture. In, 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 we cannot trust in ourselves, and you need to let go of stuff. Let go of stuff. He was rich, but yet he was poor. He was. He seemed like he had it made. He was rich. Man, he had everything, and he was young. He was a young boy. Oh, he had all his life to Thor, and he could do anything he wanted to do. And he was a ruler. He had authority. When he spoke, people paid attention to him, and they did what he said. Oh, he had it made. He, it appeared that he had it made, but he didn't. He was the rich but poor young ruler. He walked away. He didn't have the Lord in his life. He was so sad, and as Jesus spoke to him, and then it was Peter spoke up. He said, what about us, Lord? He said, we, we've given up, given up everything. You know what, Peter, he, he's always thinking. Yes, he was. He was always thinking, and they had left everything, and they had they had been fish, fishermen, and now they were fishing for men. And, and, and they were telling them about Jesus. Yes, they were walking with Jesus and telling others about Jesus. And Jesus said, you don't have a thing to worry about, Peter. He said, if you love me and serve me, he said, even in this life, you'll be blessed. And then when you go to heaven, that's right, Chesley. Then when you die, you'll just die here, just but you'll go live forever. The real you that lives inside of us goes to live with Jesus forever and ever. Oh, I tell you what, I know what the answer is. Live for Jesus. That's the answer. Live for Jesus. I just think of the happiness and joy he could have had if he had just accepted the Lord. Now, I wish you had that in that story. Wouldn't that be good if that was the side of the story that we heard that he accepted? But you know what? 
the Apostle Paul was a man that he maybe, he maybe didn't have a lot of riches. I don't know how rich he was, but he had a lot of fame and fortune and all of that. And when the Lord spoke to him, he said, oh, Jesus is the Christ. I didn't know that. And so he accepted him in, oh, what a great blessing. Chesley, you can have it either way. Which way do we want it? Do we want to be rich in the things of this world only? Or do we want to be rich in the things of the Lord and live with him forever? And, if, and, get, to work, and, and get to work for him now. Yes, Chesley, that's my choice. And Chesley, if you could be, and I'm just a wooden kid, so I can't do it, then I would. You would. I know you would. Well, Chesley, it's so good to have you with us today, but you do know. Oh, I know what's coming. I'm Chesley, you know, it's time to go to bed. And so... Uh, uh, what if you're not sleepy? Well, that's all right. It's just when it's time to go to bed, it's time to go to bed. And I'm not sleepy, and I can't sleep, and I thought a snake in there. Oh, Chesley, there's no snake here. Believe me. So you tell everybody good night, and you look for it. I can't say good night. It's not true. Okay, Chesley, you'll say so good afternoon. And I got to get stuck in the trunk. Chesley, it's not a bad trunk. It's a nice trunk. And it's padded, everything is good for you, and you're just stalling. Oh, you guessed it. All right, folks, we'll see you next time. Next Sunday afternoon, and it'll be, I don't know, somewhere around 4 o'clock. Well, Chesley, we're just, it's a little after 4 now. Tell everybody goodbye for one last time. Love you, and I got to get out of here. You know how it is. I don't have a choice. That's right, Chesley, no choice. I'm holding you. Oh, letting you down easy. I'm doing it, letting you down easy.